And since I've only watched bits of this, I've never played it. I've played a bunch of the other Ease games. I'm pretty excited. Pretty excited. <clears throat> All right. Why, hello there. It is Neryl with a party of nine. Coming in with the Raid of Flame. Right when we're getting started with Ease 8. Uh-huh. 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 Empty bottles are consumed. So you eat bottles in this one. Hm. I mean, obviously we're not we're not gonna punish ourselves. Hey, for those of you who aren't following Nero, please, please go do so. He's a great streamer, wonderful friend, one of my best friends. And, uh... Up, 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 up. And, uh, someone you should really follow. And, and, to, to a lesser extent, Maybe, maybe pester because, well, he, he complains so much about people pestering him. I think he secretly likes it. Um, I mean, I, I suppose I was there right at the end. I, I would slipped in a bit before, but I had to go make dinner. Oh, Dapper? <laughs> Who knows? Dapper Sneaky. Not for anybody who's coming in narrow who might not know me, my name is Sarah. I am a 20 foot tall transgender Kitsune VTuber. My pronouns are they, them. I do sometimes use she, her. I do play a variety of games, although I do tend to Go for story type games because I like doing lots of different voices. And I also do art. As such, the layout of the stream, most of the emotes and my avatar were all done by me. But welcome in. I hope you enjoy. We are starting Ease 8 today. Display tips on the loading screen. Uh, I don't think we need tips. There's a, several of these tips are probably going to be, hey, by the way, get hit less and, and you won't die as often. You're not the tools of any higher power. Each of us is the very embodiment of free will. Even so, there comes a time in every man's life when he must answer a call of destiny beyond human understanding. How will you respond when that moment strikes you? Truly, nothing is more awe-inspiring than one unceasingly... Wow, that goes by fast. I'd hoped to embody such an ideal myself. Even now, many decades later, my awe for her remains unwavering. Adol Kristen, preface to Travelogue of the Gate Sea.
A passenger liner. Uh, Adults on a boat. This is danger for anyone that is familiar with the with the Ease games. That's very quiet. Is it just me? <laughs> I don't think it's just me. That sounds really, really quiet. I worry if I turn if I turn up the sound the music will be too loud. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be as vocal as Link. That that would be my silly fault, <laughs> wouldn't it? <clears throat> so, Adam, what is our next stop anyway? Okay, now now tell me the truth. The voice is too quiet, right? Once we dock in Sunya, Greek is just around the bend. Still trying to decide. Get a glint in your eye just thinking about adventure. If you ask me, I would adventure. I love adventure. Whoa, whoa. Are you guys voyaging to Altago? Oh, can't you? <laughs> you bet we are. Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. Unbelievable. You do know about the conflict between the kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, don't you? Why is the music so much louder than the voices? Roman navy vessels are pretty much the only ships that can enter that region of the sea. <laughs> I heard that you're an adventurer. That just seems reckless. 
never a dull moment when I'm tagging along with this guy. Adel can't walk more than three steps without stepping in some kind of adventure. What do you say, Cap? You feel like tagging along too? <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Anyway, you two, break time's almost over. Dope, I need you to get back to work in the cargo bay. Back on the clock already, huh? No problem. I'll head down right now. Yep, yeah, put those muscles back to work, boy. Chance to can be found at the quarter deck near the stern of the ship. Chance to look at audio options. It's a new adventure. Sound I see is the last tab. Right, so hopefully, hopefully, a massive ship. Been a while since I was last on one this big. I wanted to hit the head, but I took a wrong turn somewhere. Too bad this ain't my ship, or I'd just whiz off the deck. <laughs> For anyone who might not know, the head is is the toilet. Hmm. I'll be seeing land again for a while. It's a bittersweet feeling, really. I'm happy to have you aboard helping us out, Adol. Anyway, you really should go see Captain Barbaros. Captain's quarters are located at the quarterdeck, near the stern of the ship. Be fun if I went with my dad to his work. Everyone was just sucking up to each other. It was sad. Uh, how boring. Hey, Adol. Hey. Gate C has always been a real prosperous maritime trade route. That's why outlaws tend to target ships with a cargo, you know, pirates. Lombardia is a passenger ship. It has some nice cannons as a countermeasure. Well, it's for the safety of the passengers, too. Go forth to the Get Sea. Hello. 
Oh, hey, it's you, Adol. Are you patrolling? Oh, just looking for the captain. Uh, I think you already know the captain's room is in the back. <laughs> Today is the perfect day for a voyage. All is God's will. Would you like to pray with me? There are some important passengers in this room. Captain told me not to let anyone through. So if you're on patrol, please go somewhere else. But I wanna see people! Not, not yeah. Well, it's been great lately and the water's been calm. It's rare to have such a steady voyage. Could it be that you and Dougie are good luck charms? No. No. Thank you for coming. Wow, it's still quiet. Please have a seat. As I recall, you introduced yourself to me as an adventurer. Tell me, do you know of the Isle of Saren? Uh, maybe? Yes. Very impressive. The Gate of Sea is home to many islands, as you're no doubt aware. It's a treacherous sea to navigate. More ships than I can count have run afoul of her jagged islands. The Isle of Saren has a particularly fearsome reputation, for you see, every ship that approaches the island sinks by some mysterious happenstance. Oh, well, well, for those of you who are not familiar with these games, they usually start by adults on a ship and gets shipwrecked. So guess what? We're on a ship. Waters are perilous to navigate, but that alone does not explain why so many ships sink. About five years ago, a Roman vessel conducting an exploratory voyage approached the island. Well, yeah, the Ease anime is a recreation of the first and second game. The sea was calm that day and ran afoul of nothing, yet I heard it was pulled under all the same. Grecian mythology speaks of monsters called Sirens, which lure ships to their doom. The pirates who first discovered that island declared it cursed ground and named it accordingly. Maybe. Hmm. We go sure. You to ask that. Unfortunately, no one alive knows the answer to that question. The unlucky ones who have set foot on the island were never seen or heard from again. Even the saltiest sailors to voyage the gate to sea can tell you nothing about the island. That's... that's unfortunate. Huh. It seems my tale did not but stoke the fires of your adventurous spirit. I share this tale with every new member of my crew. When I first told Catherine, he was so frightened that he refused to leave his quarters. But I see you're made of sterner stuff than he, lad. I have been through more shipwrecks than you can count, sir. Thank you, sir. Sorry to keep you so long, but 
have a favor to ask me. I insist on holding a small welcome party whenever new passengers come aboard. I want you to attend the party and provide security. Excuse me. For holding a new uh, holding a party for new passengers, except that I have to work. Aren't I a new passenger? Come on. Security? Me? Yes. I've been a captain long enough to have seen many people during my years at sea. Between your skill and temperament, you are indeed the perfect man for the job. Why do you need security at all? In the middle of the water. Please, speak to Kathy for the details about your assignment. I know you won't let me down at all. This is by far the best ship I've ever been on. Yes, I mean, right? I've been. I've been all it's a perfect getaway. I tell you. Are you doing it first time? First time on board? Hey, look at this guy. Come on. Good evening, passengers. I'm Captain Barbaros. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Lombardia for your seafaring needs. With four masts and at 50 million in length, this vessel is the largest of the passenger ships that voyage between Zandria and Aresia. It's totally unsinkable. Right, Adol. Since you're providing security, let's go over your responsibilities. I need you to patrol the passenger compartment and the main deck. Keep close watch for any passengers who seem suspicious or dangerous. How long do you want me to do this? Let me think. Just patrol until I give you the go-ahead to stop. If you see any interesting guests, feel free to chat them up. But don't forget that these people are our guests, so please be respectful toward them. <laughs> aye aye, sir. Well, aren't you enthusiastic? Anyway, it looks like the captain's almost done with the speech. I'll do my part and start patrolling the cargo hold. Meet up later, Adol. Anyway, that's enough out of me. Please, feel free to mix and mingle among yourselves as we continue on our voyage. I bid you all a wonderful evening. Voices will be Let's go. reasonably audible now. <laughs> Look at the save. I need to patrol the entire ship. So if I come back later and I don't know what I'm doing, I can just look at this. The save file says it all. Yeah. Oh, I don't patrol duty, huh? Doesn't happen often, but we sometimes have stowaways. Well, be careful. Okay. Adults who get excited over a party of idiots. Uh, oh, I'm getting bored. I should check out the hold. Get 
think I made on board. Where are those damn fools? I knew what was going to happen. I picked a spot to rendezvous beforehand. Sus. Seems like we eat while standing. I think that means we can eat all we want. Alright, I'm going to eat, eat, and eat until I make back the ticket price. Hmm. Oh, so you're lightly dressed because you can't afford clothes. Got it. Looking around, you can tell that all kinds of walks of life are on the Lombardia. Different social status, outfits... Ship has an accepting heart. Mm. Being able to ride a magnificent ship like this made all my long years worthwhile. The food is delicious too. Nothing but good things to say. <laughs> Cheers to a wonderful night. Oh, this claret is quite delicious. It's nothing like a bit of a nip to round out a hard day's work. Thanks to my husband, we enjoyed a very nice trip abroad. And now we're heading home on this marvelous ship. I feel like the luckiest girl in all of Aresia. Hmm. I admit, just a little nervous about traveling by ship. But we had a lovely trip. My wife looks so happy right now, so it was all worth it. I hope this feeling lasts forever. Sharing a feast with the commoners is more pleasant than I had expected. This blending of unconventional elements has all the makings of a masterpiece. Ah, yes, I understand now. There's more to Lombardia than meets the eye. <laughs> hmm, to see my mistress so surprised is quite the treat. It's my duty as a butler to support my mistress, who is not yet a seasoned traveller. Yeah, she can quite, quite a handful. There weren't any other ships available, so I boarded this one. I feel really bad for my family. To make up for it, when I get back, I'll try to recreate all the dishes served here for them. Mm. With that settled, I need to start my culinary research. <laughs> Gotta taste one of everything. <laughs> what is the definition of mediocre? You there. What are you just standing there for? You should be bringing me a fine meal. I heard that this was a fine passenger vessel, but it barely reeks of the lower class. You know what? You can suffer. <laughs> I think you already know, but the drinks are for passengers only. <laughs> but leftover drinks are a very different story. But when our shift is up, let's drink like we always do. Okay. It's like you're patrolling. Don't tell me you got lost. This is the tail end of the ship. The hall and the captain's room are over there. If you want to go to the hall, use the stairs at the front of the ship. No. Why did he have to be on the ship? My word, I was treating me like a helpless child. Interesting. Yes. Help yep, from Rom is using this first class room. Sick of hearing this guy demand that we bring more food. We're not servants, man, this is lame. I love how the door just closes on its own. Uh, you know, where where are all the all the stuff to plunder? What kind of adventure is this? Yes. I've been traveling mostly around the gate to see to spread the teachings of the church. My church is based in Greek, 
and I have not returned to it in two years. I'm sure the children living there have grown so much. I look forward to seeing them again. I object to the lack of, of treasure boxes. What do you want? Not a thing. I'm just here. Jeez. You must not be very busy if you have time to barge into random rooms. By the way, on your way out, make sure you shut the door behind you quietly. Hey, doggy. What's up? Hey, doesn't seem like you have pole kitchen duty. What? You're patrolling? Hmm, perfect timing then. I mean, aren't you trying to decide where to go for your next adventure? This ship is gigantic, so I figured we could ask around and hear some interesting stories. If all goes well, we might be able to pick our next destination. If you hear anything interesting, tell me later. How about the Isle of Sarens? Yes. Oh, this is the, th the third class cabin. We stay here too. Oh, it's you, Adol. You're on patrol duty. How's that working out for you? Well, when you finish your rounds, you're done for the day. Let's keep at it. I protest the lack of collectibles. Uh. We finally departed. Boarding this ship wasn't my plan. Maybe I should have turned them down. Not like I can hop off midway. Uh, I hope I don't have to do anything too demanding. Hi, everything looks good. No problem, passengers either. Uh, if anything's going to go wrong, it's apt to happen on the day we weigh anchor. Should be smooth sailing all around, but how about making the rounds anyway? Oh, oh! Look at these cute things. They're like fat little groundhogs. Unfortunately, if they're here, that means they're probably food. That makes me a little sad. Mini map. So this is a character, this is a point of interest, this is a treasure box. This is where you last came in. And event markers. Why didn't it tell me about this before? Real voyage starts at night when it's difficult to navigate. Main hall is hosting a party, but let's keep on our toes. Glad to have you with us, Adol. The wind is getting stronger. Yes. Ah, 
glad you are all. Thank you for patrolling at night. Stars are beautiful, huh? Don't gaze up them too long and stumble off the deck. Check our course! Set sail! Yeah, look at those stars. Twin moons are pretty. <laughs> a breeze feels nice. Great weather and a clear starry sky. Wait for me, my darling Crete. I'm coming home. Ah, snow breeze is a lovely change of pace from Rome's stagnant air. Mm. Oh, you look like you know how to handle a sword. <laughs> Never mind. Night is so calm and quiet. There are other things we could talk about instead. I hope your patrol finishes soon so you can relax for the evening. Did, did she just hit on me? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Hello. Part of the night shift is tough. Hmm. Might be over already. Reserved for honored guests. Fine. Let's see. It'll be a few days before we reach our next destination, Sunyan Port. I would like to listen to your adventures when we have time. For now, patrol the ship. Oh, this is what a great find. Now I'm part of the crew too. Uh... Hmm. Oh, it it's you. Uh, you must be the Navy on board, huh? I mean, I look like it. I'm actually a pre-season sailor myself. I'm going to report to the captain. Why don't you tidy up or something? <laughs> um, wait a minute. <laughs> what? You probably can't tell, but I'm very busy. Run away! Uh. You know, right past the captain, who won't have noticed because he's busy steering the ship. Oh, a girl wearing a sailor's overcoat just popped out, but how did she get into my room? Uh, shall I seize her? Uh, she took a uniform with her. Seems like nothing more than a simple prank to me. Unless oh, a sailor not on active duty to look out for her. Please continue to patrol the ship. Okay. Glad the security on board is so wonderful. Hey, Adol, how's the security patrol going? <laughs> Everyone seems suspicious. Really? I know we have a lot of interesting people aboard, but I think you're acting a little paranoid? It looks like it's going to be another day of calm waters and smooth sailing. By the way, the captain's been looking for you. Seriously? I just finished talking to him. I think he said we were about to pass by something soon. He should be back in his quarters by now. Why don't you pay him a visit? Go see him right away. Sounds good, Otto. I'll continue my patrol for a little while longer.
Ah, there you are. I'm sorry to bother you. I understand how busy you are right now. I just wanted to let you know that we're about to pass by it. <sighs> you mean... Isle of Sirens? Mm, that's right, the Isle of Siren. The sky is clear tonight, so you may be able to see the island's silhouette. The Isle of Siren is about 500 square kim... Primeller. Prim... Primele. A mountain range roughly 2,000 mile... Mile high stretches across the island's center. Since we're about to pass by, I figured you'd want to see it. What's happening? Ah, oh, that voice is so much clearer. I can hear it. I don't know, sir. We seem to have run afoul of something. Impossible. We're in open waters. Assess the situation at once. Okay, Neryl. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> We're quite a distance from the island. It couldn't be. No, it's just the adult Christian effect at work. What is that? Huh? What's going on? Narrow. And suddenly it's raining. Oh, well. Tentacle of the Unknown. Sword. Got it coming, tentacle. for the host. Yep, I got Kraken. Finally. Count on you, Adol. 
What was that thing anyway? You and your lurk, Foxy. Looked like a tentacle from some kind of giant squid. You mean, uh, this, uh, tentacle? What's happening? I think he's angry at that we uh, smacked his fingers. What were you holding on to anyway? It's like slippery boards on a on a boat. There's no handholds. It's the chicken dragon. I don't remember seeing her. Remember see no, 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 I remember seeing almost everyone else, but not her. Well then, meteors away. Yeah, we were nice and far away. Not far enough, apparently.
Where am I? I seem to have washed ashore on some unfamiliar beach. No signs of other people. All I can hear is the gentle sound of crashing waves. Fishy. With debris that is washed ashore, you find an old sword sticking out of the sand. Will you take the old sword? Is, is this a trick question? It really. Hi, puppy. Sorry, puppies. But you were trying to bite me. Skills. for so long that exhaustion is starting to set in. It's dangerous to stay here. Continue on ahead. Each fallen tree blocks your path. Doesn't look like you'll be able to move it. Climb over it. No? Tired, you should leave. No, no. I should explore. Hi, Sanmi. Paddle found a clear water stream and drank from it to quench his parched throat. With each ship he took, Adol's exhaustion slowly washed away. Stand still on the field to slowly recover HP. This does not work inside dungeons, so bring medicine. Let's continue on ahead.
there. Yeah, wildlife seems particularly vindictive. Very Much better. Closed rise. <coughs> Why? My word. Why must men be so disgusting, tactless, and so domineering, too? Yes, just like him. I kept you waiting long enough. We should introduce ourselves at least. Uh, I guess so. My name is Laxia of House Roswell, a noble family of Garmin. The ship I was traveling on sank. I was cast adrift until I came ashore here. Oh, what a surprise. Same here. Now, who are you? Judging from your garb, you must have been a sailor aboard the Lombardia. Um, oh, Christian, a temporary oh, sailor. You say you're a temporary sailor? Is this some sort of ill-conceived ruse? I narrowly escaped that disaster with my life. I don't care if that was your first day at sea. You need to tell me what exactly happened out there. Uh, giant squids. Whoa. 
Edel told her about the giant tentacles that attack the Lombardia. You said your name was Adol, correct? So, you're telling me that these giant tentacles attacked and destroyed our ship? Do you expect me to believe such a bizarre story? Uh... What do you think happened? No, the ship just sank on its own. How big a fool do you think me to be? Oh, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? Why do you remind me of... Leave this to me. No need. I don't need to be protected by the likes of you. I, Laxia von Roswell, shall enter the fray. Okay. Slash damage is effective against soft animals. Gear damage is effective against aerial animals, and strike damage is effective against armored enemies. an ordinary sailor, but your swordsmanship is rather impressive. Clearly it was no accident that you managed to parry my attack. Uh, you're not too shabby either. Your flattery won't work on me. Based on the current situation, this area must be the territory of those beasts. Let us relocate somewhere safe to Mr. Christian. seem rather calm about this. The women of House Roswell are not so easily moved to panic. Really? You're not so easily moved to panic, huh? And that's why you dropped your towel. Because you weren't panicking. Let's get one thing straight. Given the circumstances, a temporary alliance is our only rational course of action. But I don't trust you. Not one bit. You understand each other. Good. Then stop wasting time and get moving. Woot. This seems a little odd. Let's search here and see if anyone else is here. Well, that was short-lived. Bye! Giant crystal stands before you. Its presence seemed to soothe your body and soul. Checkpoint. Checkpoint to get.
Ooh, ooh, I found a box. I found a box. Looks like some driftage washed ashore. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yummy meat. Hey, Elkia. I'm sure this meat will come in very handy since it came out of this box. Pets, thank you. <laughs> yep, Belkia. Pretty much hit a roadblock in in Dragon Quest Eight, uh, Dragon Quest Eight, Dragon Quest Eleven that I did not feel like spending hours upon hours of trying to get past. streams flowing through here. It's like a perfect spot to quench your thirst, but there's no sign that anyone else has been here. Ah, uh, shame. Don't worry, I've been in this situation, uh, let's see, five times before? We'll be fine. Although I guess in, in those situations there were actually people on the island. This is a gorgeous view though. This is no time to be taken in the scenery. You've forgotten that you're one of the sailors who is responsible for this debacle. Right. Right. That's right. I conjured the Kraken out of the sea. Other crew members or passengers may have come ashore on this island. Come, let us look for them. Search the area, but there doesn't appear to be anyone else here. I did notice, however, that this area is surrounded on all sides by rocky cliffs. Mm, this place seems pretty secure. Indeed, this place is remarkably well fortified. Given the absence of beasts, this may prove to be a suitable location for a base camp. My word. So just now, I, I thought I saw someone walking by over there. Well, let's find out who it was then. Indeed, whether it's a castaway or a native, we stand to learn something either way. Let's pursue them at once. Are we pointing to this? Like, it's completely obvious that they went that way. 
Or is it because there's nowhere else to go? Uh, that's the Elkia. Um, we got hired on as sailors on a boat, Adol and Dogi, to to go to the next, you know, big location for their adventures. Uh, boat got attacked by giant squid. Uh, woke up on this on this apparently deserted island. We found this one lady. Who's taking a bath. And of course, you know, didn't hold her towel well. I mean, as soon as the towel dropped, Adol closed his eyes, so it's not like he was trying to ogle. What is this place? This cave runs deeper than I expected. Let's tread carefully. Yes, of course. The water drop cave. This counts as a uh, dungeon. Guess I should have brought that medicine that I don't have. Unless those slabs of meat count. I have crewberries. This looks like it's been lived in. Do you think someone could still be living here? Yeah, it's possible. Perhaps it is possible, but... The hovel is rather dilapidated, and everything in here looks badly damaged. Perhaps there's a clue here waiting to be uncovered. Let's look around, Mr. Christian. Heal potion. This seems rather old, but maybe we can still use it. Is there anything inside? The barrels are empty. Yeah, shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. But why is all the rum gone? Okay. This is quite old, but that'll decide they should equip the armor anyway. Invisible leather armor. Something's there. This faint image emblazoned on this curtain. Look at that. It's a faded, but it appears to be an insignia of some sort. Unfortunately, the insignia is too faded to discern properly.
old jars and bottles are scattered about. They're cracked in dirt, kicked in dirt and grime. This place has been abandoned for a long time. Still, it's obvious that someone must have lived here previously. Nothing here stands out as likely clean. This might... this is rather old, but it might still prove useful. Mr. Christian, why not use this sword in place of that rusted one? Oh, sure, we just throw it away? <laughs> we throw away the, the sword with with pocked, pocked rust spots that might break at any moment? Why? <laughs> Doesn't appear to be anything else of use here. And uh, we still haven't found that person I saw outside, so we should move on. Mr. Christian, a moment of your time, please. I noticed something during our previous encounters. Okay. Lift the enemy into the air to obtain bonus experience. Finish the enemy off with a skill to regain half its SP. Seems beneficial to be proactive in the use of aerial attacks and skills. How does that sound to you? Sage advice, if I do say so myself. Okay, I'll give it a try. Good. If you hear that advice, future battles should end in our favor. And one more thing. Okay, this I already knew. I figured that out right away. You did? Really? If you already do that, you should have told me sooner. seems kind of awkward. Suppose that is. Uh, it looks like a skeleton. <laughs> Who on earth is this? I thought you didn't panic easily. Decayed corpse rests against a boulder. Based on its tattered attire, Adol suspects that it must have been be the remains of a pirate. Whoever this person was, they must have died many years ago. But why were they here to begin with? Uh, 
This room looks uh, vaguely threatening. Did you see that? I'm certain that was a person. Come, we must catch up to him. Or her, or them. my extra skill. Not okay. There I am. Stab, stab, stabby, stab, stab. Victory is ours, Mr. Christian. Now then, we must resume our pursuit and follow that man. Perhaps he will lead us to a settlement. following then if this is a dead end. And don't get discouraged. I'm hardly the type to get discouraged. Oh. oh. It's the captain. Adol. Is that you, lad? I'm surprised to see you alive and well. Uh, you too. I've been searching the area for people, but I did not expect to find you. Elkia, our first our first encounter was was Adol seeing her naked. That'll introduce Laxia to Captain Barbaros. They explained what had happened thus far. Afterwards, Captain Barbaros explained how the Lombardia sank. Do you believe me now, Laxia? Huh? Huh? That's all I know about the sinking of the Lombardia. 
So everything said Mr. Christians. Everything Mr. Christian said was true. Hey, Semper Jacks, thank you so much for raiding with the party of seven. Hi and how are ya? How you doing? Fantasy Star 4. Fantasy Star 4 is a great game. I hope that you've been having fun with it. Folks, um... Those of you who are coming in at the raid who might not know me, my name is Sarah. I am a 20 foot tall transgender Kitsune VTuber. Uh, I play. My, my pronouns are they, them, although I do sometimes use she, her. I play a variety of games, although I do tend to go for story type games because I like doing different voices. I also do art, the layout. Most of my emotes and my avatar was all done by me. And thank you for being here. Uh, Ease is going alright. Uh, pretty much just started. Barely into chapter one. This isn't my first Ease game, but it's the first time I've played Ease 8. My actions is to place passengers in harm's way. I'm to blame for all this. You couldn't have known this would happen, so please don't blame yourself. I understand that you executed your duties as captain with utmost sincerity. You have my deepest apologies. Still, it's difficult for me to accept everything about your explanation. Do you at least have any idea about where we are now? In the looks of things, you seem to have washed ashore on an island. Judging from our position when the ship sank and the direction of the current at the time, we must be on a deserted island. The island of Saren, to be precise. A deserted island? I've even heard of this Isle of Saren. That'll proceed to tell Laxia the legend of the Isle of Siren. Where is it island? Such a place truly exists. Yeah, I knew it. Mm. No one sets foot on this cursed island. I never thought I'd end up here. Well, um, someone was using this cave for shelter. Ah, the legend is that any ship who sails near the island sinks for some reason and is never heard and the, the ship and the crew is never heard from again. So a long time ago, uh, some pirates named this place the Isle of Siren because they thought that there was some something luring ships in. Passenger liners, merchant vessels, pirate ships. Many ships have gone missing in this region of the sea. If the passengers and crew all washed up here like we did. Maybe we found what was left of a castaway trapped on this island. No, I'm sorry to cause you worry. As long as I'm alive, I will continue to uphold my duties as captain. Like Laxia, there may be other passengers on this island. In any event, we need to understand our situation without a moment's delay. Every survivor will need to work hard to ensure that we get off this island alive. Yes, I certainly hope so. Now then, there's no use standing around here. Let's be off.
Adel and the others retraced their steps and made their way back to the inlet. So, what do you intend to do now? Yes, about that. Since you're an adventurer, Adol, I was hoping I could enlist your help. A adventurer? Why would he call you that? Uh, because that's what I am. I told you I was a temporary sailor. First, I would like you to find the other surviving passengers, like Laxia. It's more than likely the other passengers have drifted ashore onto this island. Some may even be women and children. We must act fast. And some women, like Laxia here, may be able to fend for themselves. So let's get started right away. Indeed, I'm counting on you. I mean, Laxia felt comfortable enough to start taking a bath. Something else I need you to do while you search for other survivors. I need you to draft a detailed map of the Isle of Sa Sirend. Right. Yeah, I'm an experienced cartographer. Is that so? How fortuitous. No ships sail through this area, which means rescue may never come for us. So it falls on us to plan our escape. This will likely be on this island for the foreseeable future. For that reason, we must learn all we can about this island for everyone's benefit. Plan our escape. Yes, we need to stockpile food and water and prepare a ship of our own, somehow. Do you think you can help me with this, Adol? Well, you know, I'm curious about the island, too. Mm-hmm, <laughs> you truly are an adventurer. I need to continue exploring the coast, but I'm considering building our base here. We need a base camp if we're going to be stuck on this island for a while. Uh, Captain Barbaros, what about me? Uh, it would be safer if you remained here, Laxia. In times as desperate as this, are you suggesting that I sit idle and do nothing? I appreciate your concern, but it would bring a dishonor to House Frasbrill if I remained here. I will accompany this adventurer. But... Besides, a servant of mine accompanied me on this voyage and is still missing. I cannot allow someone to search for him on my behalf while I'm capable of doing so myself. Uh, I understand. Very well, I will respect your wishes. Still, we do not know what dangers await us on this island. Do be careful. Thank you. We'll be off now. Hmm. So, who is this servant of yours? was a story I concocted to persuade the captain. Really? Now then, Mr. Kristen, who exactly are you? Um... Adventurer? Uh, shipwreck expert? You certainly know how to wield a sword. That much I will concede. But I've never met anyone so audacious, so frivolous, that he would introduce himself as an adventurer. You might as well call yourself a tourist or a sightseer. <coughs> I will not tolerate anyone who speaks of adventure, as though it were some sort of life-affirming calling. If only I knew what my life was like, Laxia. Carefully, Mr. Kristen. I will accompany you, but only so that I may keep a close watch on you. Because you remind me of a certain individual whom I utterly despise. Makes no sense. Silence. And on top of everything else, you've also seen me... 
Now then, what are you standing around for? Let us be on our way. Start searching for other castaways and mapping the island. Can you show me all the areas you've been to this fall? Areas that adult visits will automatically be added to the map. Use the world map to view the entire island. If you want to view specific locations, use the area map. Barbaros will offer reward for every ten percent of the isle you explore. Now then, where should we search from here? Judging by what we've already mapped, it seems this area is still unexplored. Shall we venture in this general direction? It's just beyond that opening. Not sure what lies beyond that point. Let's tread carefully just in case we need to retreat. Hey, hey fast travel. It's probably also like some ease games where uh, you could get in over your head and the game won't stop you. Okay, you're going to a dangerous location? Have fun! Puppies again. Bad enough that I'm basically beating up squirrels. Yeah, just chop the rock with your sword. Nothing, nothing bad will happen.
are we not interested in, in climbing the ivy? Ooh, footprints. Ooh, fat starfish. Beasts in this area look especially dangerous. Well, we must be on our guard, Mr. Christian. Talus leaf. Sounds vaguely narcotic like. Siren wheat. It's only a little soggy. enemies aren't fun to fight. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, it's very, uh, very stock. Okay, you, you heard a lot. Talus is a heart medicine. So in other words, we should start nibbling on some. Something nearby is making noise. What is that? What's making that sound? Don't let your guard down. Okay. I, I know. Ah! Oh! Oh! Please! Please help me!
Excuse me, I'm not nearly so scaly, Elkia. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Yes, I am big. Big Sarah. Just flick the flick the lizard away. It looks like a creature seems different from any other beast or monster that Adol has fought before. C come on! Right place, right time. This has gotta be fate. Come on, kiddos! Help an old guy out already! We really fight. It's too hard. This isn't working. Yes. Does it have a weak spot? <laughs> I don't think it's a scythe, I think it's a pick. Sure, it's dead. We're sitting right next to its mouth. Could this, in fact, be? <laughs> Thanks for saving my ass. Who you kids are, but I love you anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Why? 
What do you think you're doing? Does she just just attack any anyone who gets a, anywhere near her? <laughs> Sorry about that, little lady. Guess I got a little carried away expressing my gratitude. Your words will more than suffice. <laughs> How uncouth! Oh, what's your name? Oh, uh, the name's Sahad Nautilus. I'm a fisherman from the Grecian region. aboard the Lombardia to head home after being away on a long job. Nice to meet you. Um... Adol introduced himself. I'm Laxia. Laxia von Roswell. Adol and Laxia. Got it. Man, all the islands in the gate to sea. And we just had to wash up on the Isle of Saren. You know of it? Of course I do. Growing up in Greek, my folks would always tell me, You better behave, Sahad, or I'll leave you marooned on the Isle of Saren. Every time my pop threatened to dump me here, I'd get so scared I'd piss my pants. <laughs> So, where you're from, the locals know to avoid this place? Do they also know beasts such as this could be found on this island? Nope. Well, at least, uh, I didn't before today. Any ship what comes near the Isle of Saren sinks into a watery grave. Or so it goes. But no one really knows what this place is like. I mean, I've heard folks claim they came ashore here, but they must have been spinning yarn. Hmm. Have you figured something out? Maybe. No, not yet. Anyway, we should keep searching. Man, I got the worst luck. I found this on the beach. Ended up smacking that beast with it by accident. Right in the kisser. It's an anchor. It's not a pick, it's an- it's a broken anchor. Of course, him swinging it around with one hand is kind of, um, scary? You're really gonna fight with that. I picked it up when I washed ashore, you know, for protection. But instead of keeping me safe, it landed me in some pretty hot water. Well, you know, weapons don't always keep you safer. Sometimes they make you seem more threatening. Just incite violence. <laughs> I'll laugh at the poor beast just trying to protect himself. Huh? Oh. Look out! Scared the hell out of me just now. But this ending works for me. I 
suddenly feel extremely fatigued. <laughs> you and me both, little lady. What with that thing chasing me around? I'm surprised I'm still standing. Well, with you treating it very so lackadaisically, I'm surprised you're still standing too. Oh, looks like I worked up quite the appetite too. Say, uh, how about you take me to your camp? Does, uh, does Laxia just, just hate everyone? say the map was Might this be? That'll enter this Sahad. Ah, uh, you're the captain of Lombardia. Um, Sahad, I'm truly sorry for. It wasn't your fault. Huh? Judging by the current and the weather, this wasn't no ordinary sinking. I'm pretty sure them scary looking tentacles are the fault for what happened. Hmm. What we should really be worrying about is who those tentacles belong to. Really hope it's not the legendary crack. Yes, because there's so many other things that large tentacles could belong to. Anyway, I guess we can just chalk this up to bad luck. I may be just a fisherman, but we men of the sea gotta stick together. <laughs> Thank you, Sahad. I hope this means more castaways are gonna start showing up. Oh? Hey, I hear Dogi. And who might you be? <laughs> I ran across him while I was searching this area. Hey, at all. Looks like our bad luck hasn't quite run out yet. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, gosh. <laughs> of course I did. I'm totally fine. It's gonna take more than some giant tentacles and a sinking ship to kill me. After the attack, I grabbed hold of some floating debris. And rode the current till I washed up here. I swear, this stuff only happens when I'm with you. Never a dull moment when you're around. 
Yep. Yep, I'm just a storm of chaos. You know you like it. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, not as much as you do, though. <laughs> How can they be so cavalier? <laughs> I guess that's what makes those two adventurers. <laughs> I don't know what your deal is, but I can already tell I'm gonna like you both. Adol, we've been through a lot today. Let's compare our information so we can plan our next course of action. As you can see, we now have the makings of a base camp in place thanks to Dogi. The sun is already beginning to set. Let's rest up here for tonight. Okay. We've got benches. Are you certain, Doki? Yeah. I washed up on the beach just south of here. And I definitely saw another set of footprints in the sand. You don't think? It could be another Lombardia passenger. It's quite possible that several passengers have drifted ashore on this island. Also, the footprints weren't that big. It could have belonged to a woman or a child. Ah, oh, that's worrying. Yeah, I searched the area, but they must have already left. We should search for them at once, but it's simply too dangerous to explore an unfamiliar area at night. I hope they're safe. Let's search for them in the morning, Mr. Christian. Something else I'm worried about is the monster that attacked you. All my life I ain't ever seen a beast that ferocious. Based on your account, that beast may be indigenous to this island. Can't believe something so large and aggressive could be lurking here. Beasts like that always pose a real threat to us castaways. If there are any other passengers on this island, we gotta find them and bring them here fast. Yes. We should fortify this area to better defend ourselves. You feeling all right? I'm fine. Hmm. Starting tomorrow, I'd like you to oversee the development of this base, Doki. Sure thing. What do you want me to do, exactly? We need to build up our base so the castaways can be safe until we escape. We obviously need shelter from inclement weather, but we also need a place where we can store food. Eventually, we'll need to build a facility where we can construct the ship we'll use to escape. Wow, you're serious about this. Sounds like you want this base to become a regular castaway village. Yeah, you know, this is only supposed to be a three-hour tour. Indeed, I think you're the perfect man for this job. I'll assist you in any way that I can. Just leave it to me. I can't wait to get started. Adol, I'd like you to continue drafting the map while you search for the other passengers. Perhaps tomorrow you can expand the scope of your exploration. Adol nodded. Still, knowing monsters roam this island, adventurer or not, I must admit that I'm worried for your safety. Much as I'd love to join you, Adol, I gotta take care of things here. Oh, in that case, I'll go with them. Uh, Beast may have got the jump on me, but I'm a good tracker, and I'm pretty damn strong, too. Yes, you, you've shown that by swinging around an anchor with one hand. Hmm, I see. Then please accompany Adol. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go with Adol, too? Yes, I will. <laughs> Welcome aboard! Ugh. Now then, I think we shall get some rest. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow and plenty of work to do. Thank you. We also need to set aside an area for the commercial district. In what commercial district? In 
back in the barn, everyone. Enjoy food. Yes, yes, you're such good boys. Adol hears a girl's voice that he does not recognize. Is this a dream? Huh. What's the matter, Dana? Father, people are coming to this valley. Mm, another vision, then. Yes, its hue was crisp and clear. I think they'll be here tomorrow, won't they? Dana, are you... Alright, see you later, Semper Jacks. I'm okay. Hmm? I personally decided to do this. You don't need to worry about me, I'm fine. I understand. She's got 20 years. Still, I wonder who they are. They didn't look like people I know. They were wearing robes and riding carts pulled by big beasts. And they're probably not merchants either. They never come this way during the rainy season. I wonder who you saw. Temple of the Great Tree? Hologram before the Great Tree of Origins where the maiden resides? Then Dana is... Yes, your daughter has been blessed with outstanding essence. We've come to escort her to the temple. Oh, but this is so sudden. Yes, we understand that. However, as you're no doubt aware, your daughter was chosen by the Oracle. I know, we can't refuse. Father, I've decided. The house is visited by the messenger said to receive blessings afterward, right? And... This kid is chosen by prophecy. We're taking them away now. Sounds wonderful. Good morning. Why do you look so tired? I had a weird dream. Your dream. I guess even adventures get the occasional nightmare. It's not a nightmare, it's just a weird dream. I didn't say nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth, Laxia. I'm supposed to search for more castaways, remember? Here we are. What? What? Yeah, that's right. Let's get going. You mean right now? Hmm. Before we go, there's something I'd like to show you, Mr. Kristen. While I was out for a walk this morning, I found a crate that had washed ashore. Inside, I found some clothes that looked to be your size. What kind of clothes? They're well made and look appropriate for explorator exploratory excursions. Please come this way. Ah, uh, yes, this is far more... Far more than what I'm... Oh my gosh, it's a third raid today by Mochi! With a party of twelve! 
It's a mochi raid. It's a mochi raid. Hey, mochi. How you doing? Ooh, dot hack. That's that's a nice game. Nice old game. Very interesting premise. Folks, if you don't if you haven't followed Mochi yet, you really should do so. He's a great VTuber, lovely kitty. Yeah, I love Dot Hack. I have not had the the uh, occasion to play it lately. Uh, I did play the original all the way up to halfway through the fourth fourth chapter. Uh, what was it quarantine? I think. I just got stuck somewhere, and I didn't end up finishing it. But hey, or people who are coming in with mochi who might not know me. My name is Sarah. I am a 20 foot tall Kitsune VTuber, although at the moment I am a little bit bigger thanks to a redeem from Elkia. Uh, my pronouns are they them, although I do also use she her. I generally play, I play lots of different types of games, although I generally do tend towards story type games because I like doing the different types of voices and I am also an artist. I did the layout, most of the emotes, and my avatar. So I hope that you enjoy your time here. Thank you Mochi for bringing your people in. As I was mentioning before Mochi got in, this outfit is far more adult christian -y than than the sailor outfit, definitely. What do you think? These clothes are certainly more durable than a sailor's uniform. Thanks. I like them. Please don't get the wrong idea. In the circumstance, I merely thought we should use whatever we, we can find. Anyway, I still haven't seen Sahad this morning. Let's find him so we can begin our search. So, Loxia, when are we going to find something that's more appropriate for you to be wearing? Alright, Mochi, enjoy your lurk. Woohoo! Love how the attachment uh, symbol is a mustache and a monocle. It leads to a dwelling. You see, you seen beasts lurking within. No need to enter. Saddle and the little lady. Where'd you find that get up, Addle? So, tease Laxia or not? Tease Laxia or not? I look good, huh? Yeah, that outfit looks like it was tailor made for you. 
I mean, your sailor outfit was alright, but this looks like something an adventurer would wear. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Sahad and I woke up early feeling pretty hungry, so we came here. I gotta eat breakfast and take a dump afterward, or else I get all antsy. Sahad, TMI! Excuse me? Would it kill you to behave with a modicum of modesty, you know, like a proper adult? <laughs> What's the matter? Feeling hungry too? Probably right, Elkia. It's not like Doki ever admits why he likes to travel with, with Adel all the time. <laughs> Sounds like he got a healthy appetite. How dare you? That was definitely was not me. Mr. Christian, apologize at once for making such a vulgar noise. No, it wasn't me. But, but who else could it have been if not you? Anyway, we're definitely going to fall behind on him if we head out on empty stomachs. I got a lot of heavy lifting to do, but I'll see what I can do about our food situation first. Say, Sahad, you're a fisherman, right? Think you could catch us some fish to eat? Huh? What do you think you're talking to? Just gotta scrounge up the right tools first. But yeah, I can make that happen. Well, that settles it. Why don't you head to the beach with Sahad and catch us some breakfast? In the meantime, I'll get a fire ready so we can cook your catch. Must I really go to? I've never caught a fish before. Good a time as any to learn, then. Ah, ah, don't worry, I'll teach you how to bait a hook and cast a line. Remember, if you want to eat, you gotta fish. Uh, very well, then. Oh, yeah, one last thing, Adol. I've prepped some facilities in the village that might help you out. Facilities? Well, I guess they're not facilities in the usual sense. Still, why don't you check them out before you head to the beach? Yeah, we can check them out. But we gotta be fast or else Loxia's stomach is gonna keep grumbling at us. I already said that noise didn't come from me. This looks like supplies for making medicine. We should be able to prepare basic field items with this. Might be good to keep a supply of medicine on hand, wouldn't you say? Yes, but don't we need a container to keep it in? Wait, Mr. Christian, don't you have an empty bottle on hand? Perhaps we can use that. Ah, I get it now. If we run out of medicine, we can just make more and refill an empty bottle. Yes, let's be careful any empty bottles we find. They're valuable resources on Desert Island. Empty bottles can be reused over and over again, unless you're on that artist difficulty where apparently you eat the bottles. delicious glass. That's alright. You're, you're, you're eating it with a healing potion. You'll be fine, Elkia. Looks like this is where Dogia is storing all the village's materials. There's a note here. Let's read it. 
materials in the warehouse belong to everyone. Help yourself to anything you need, but don't forget to replace it with something of equal value. Management. <laughs> Reminds me of an old-timey trade system. <laughs> Bet this will come in real handy. So apparently this is the uh, capitalism. Not much capitalism, it's just trade up. But yeah, where did he get this? Hammer and a rusty anvil? What's this for? We're maintaining our weapons. True, we might be able to do some minor upkeep to our weapons. Oh, I get it. Simple but helpful. All we need to maintain our weapons are the proper materials. Ah, uh, materials. Well, that reminds me, I found this near the shore. This might come in handy. If you have time, let's try it out. <laughs> strength plus 9, strength plus 8, strength plus 22. Level max. Woohoo! <laughs> mm -hmm. Captain Barbara went for a walk first thing in the morning. Man, I have to prepare breakfast before it gets back. How about you can't do me a favor and catch some fish? Check out the facilities on your way. Adel and the others went to the beach and used the drift bridge to make improvised fishing rods. From there, Sahad began to teach them how to fish. Ah, with waves this calm, this is a perfect day for fishing. Alright, let's catch us some fish. Where do we even start? Typically, you want to find a spot where there are lots of fish and cast your line there. Isn't spotting fish easier said than done? Yeah, lucky for us, there are lots of fish swimming around this island. We don't gotta look that hard to find them. Look over there, check it out. Is it that? Aye, there are fish shadows. Means there's fish gathering near that spot. Might even reel in a big catch if you're lucky. If you ever want a fish, keep your eyes peeled for signs of fish activity. If that makes sense. One more thing, you can't fish without bait. Ugh, obviously we need bait. I just wish it was worms. Yeah, <laughs> fish tend to like local bait, you know, nearby critters and such. Just do a little exploring and you'll find a whole bunch of them. Anyway, experience is the best teacher. Come on, let's do some fishing. Let 
You can still fish even if those shadows are present. However, you may fall strange items or objects rather than fish. Here we go. What's biting today? Better than nothing. Woohoo! Ten centimeter Sedina. Hey, I'm sorry to hear that. Kind of Kia. I I've got a bite! Huh? It it's stronger than I expected. I did it! Look, everyone! See what I caught! Um, I mean, I'm just so surprised I was able to catch one. Not bad, you're pretty good for a beginner. I think you two got real potential. R really? Can't explain what came over me, but it was rather enjoyable. Yeah, you guys can keep those rods. Use them whenever you get fish and itch. Also, it'll be really helpful if you guys can record every fish you catch. Especially if you get a craving for some goldfish. <laughs> it's like you caught enough to make a hearty breakfast. Yes, I believe we finished everything that was asked of us. Let's return to Dogi. The fire should be ready by now. It's a pro tip. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> exactly. When you get the itch, take out your <laughs> fishing rod. It's exactly what she said. Adventurer waits. Let's go! Yes, yes. I'm busy adding a pro tip. Be patient. Alright. Welcome back. Did you check out the facilities? Come in handy. <laughs> you mean it? I'm glad I got them all set up. Had the fishing go. <laughs> See for yourself. Wow, nice haul. I'll start cooking them up right away. But how should I prepare them? You don't do much. <laughs> don't got much to work with in terms of seasoning. We'll have to make do with the natural flavors to catch. In that case, I'll whip up some fish soup. As for cooking utensils, I'll just have to whittle some wood and use that. Make sure you don't chuck the bones. We can use them to make a hearty broth. Oh, great idea. D do you know how to cook too? Well, yeah, I'm decent at it. Oh, I, I see. Oh, uh, you don't know how to cook, Loxia? Oh, well, I guess it's not that surprising. S sorry, I'm just used to servants preparing my meals. 
then this is a great opportunity. The recipe for the soup is so simple anyone can follow it. Why not use it to practice your cooking? Oh, uh, considerate of you. Thank you. Learn to cook meals via recipe books. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do you think, Foxy? Is your stomach finally full? Yes, thank you. I was wondering how we'd feed ourselves in this island, but I guess that won't be an issue for us. Now then, Mr. Kristen. We should begin our search for other survivors. Ah, that's right. You better get a move on, Adol. Before you head out, you might want to check in with Captain Barbaros. A good idea. He just came back, so I know he's around here somewhere. Sorry, I can't be more specific. Ah, yes. Well stuffed. Awfully domesticated. It does. Though I suspect it's simply unafraid of people having lived its entire life on this deserted island. I thought he could prove useful if I taught him some simple words to use. Ah, oh, I see. He's pretty smart for a bird. Indeed, he has already learned basic greetings, so I suspect he comes from good stock. He needs a name, though. Speaking of words, my daughter just started talking on her own, too. Oh, that's sweet. Wait, you're what? You have a daughter? Oh, of course I do. Let me tell you something, little lady. My wife, she's every bit the beauty you are. Really? For some reason, I'm very curious to meet her. <laughs> well, if we get out of here, you can all come meet my family. Not many outsiders come to visit, so it'll be a real treat for them. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Axia, I'm gonna bonk you. Seriously. Oop. Not that one. I miss click. Got any little ones, Captain? Yes, actually, a young daughter, just like you. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Sounds like we both got one hell of a good reason to get out of here alive. Hmm, indeed we do. Head pats, yay. Love the head pats, love the head pats. Head pats, yay. Head pats, yay. By the way, Adol, there's something I'd like to share with you before you go. Oh, 
We'll need a wide variety of materials to finish building Castaway Village. But Dogi and I will never be able to gather all the materials we need on our own. So I'd like you to help us gathering the materials we need while you explore. That shouldn't be a problem. Materials for building the village, huh? So stuff like wood, stone... Actually, what we need will vary depending on what we want to build. So I've come up with the bulletin board system. That way, people can write down what we need. If you ever need anything specific, just write it here for all to see. Got it. You should check the bulletin board whenever we return to village, then. It's a quest system! That's all for now. Please continue to search for any other castaways. Counting on you. Yep, it's a base builder too. We want to build beds. And we want to improve our materials inventory. And why does it say expiration? building beds for us to use in the dorm. Wonder if you can find three pieces of sturdy lumber for me. Of course there's no rush. Let me know if you find them. Really? Really? Cause cause the, the quest board says expiration. So I think there is a rush. Oh, you're going to accept my request? Perfect, let me explain it to you. Alright, my request has to do with the warehouse here. As you can see, all the materials we collected are stockpiled here. We have an exchange system in place, but some materials run out faster than others. Especially materials dropped by beasts. It's hard to maintain our stock when some items are used more often than others. Think you can help me replenish our stock? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I knew you'd help me out, buddy. Judging by our current inventory, I'll need a couple specific things. I need 12 murky mucus and 8 light bones more than anything else. If you can bring me those, then I think our storage situation will be okay. Think you can get those items for me? <laughs> thanks a ton. When you've got all the materials, make sure you bring them to me instead of dropping them off here. Catch you later, Adol. Yeah, I know. I mean, bulletin board to tell me where to go when 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 I'm done makes sense. Looks like you've collected all the materials I wanted. Yep. Ah, thanks, buddy. I think I'll organize the storage area next. Thanks to you, our stock of beast materials has been replenished. Now there's more to offer in exchange for rare materials. Take this for a job well done. One. Hole. Beast. Claw. Eh, good stuff, huh? Not feeling bored? I like to go out and flex my hunting muscles for a bit. Anyway, feel free to use the warehouse as much as you want. Yeah, I'm counting on you, Dogie. Right back at you, buddy. Just leave all this to me. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, I'm not really sure why. The bulletin board does seem a little... 
unnecessary. They said I threw this way. Oh, wait, I don't have this either. We start looking for other castaways. Didn't Dogie say something about seeing somewhere, someone somewhere earlier? Were, were you not paying attention? <laughs> Sorry. Mr. Christian, you remember where we're supposed to go, don't you? Uh, it's the north. It would seem being terrible at directions is no obstacle to becoming an adventurer. Dogi told us they saw footprints in the shore to the south. We should consult our map as we proceed. Fine. Except that I have to head north first. So I don't want a lip from you. It's just her problem. My word. Ah, oh, looks like this big tree is blocking our way. I don't think we can go around it. So we just gotta get this out of the way so we can head over to the other side, yeah? Why, we? Are you including me? Nah, you just sit tight, Loxia. Me and Adel will handle this. Pow! Red one! Pow! Adel! Huh? Hey, little lady. Knock off with that weird voice. It wasn't me. The voice came from up above. Ooh. 
Wait a minute. Ain't that the parrot the captain was teaching to talk? Indeed it is. I wonder, were you given a name at all? Name? My name is Little Pero! Wow, that bird talks good. Little Pero. So, that's your name. Little Pero, Mess Injure. Mess Injure? What's it talking about? Mess Injure, tell you a lot. What? I think it might be trying to say Messenger. I tell get treats. Just flew away. Apparently, it needs more training to be a proper messenger. Oh well. Come on, Adol, let's get to work. Working together, Adol and Sahad tried to move the fallen tree out of the way. But as time passed by, the two eventually realized they just weren't strong enough. So they decided to return to the village, and suddenly. Look. Little Pero sent you to help us? Yeah, more or less. Mm, he's already proving quite very useful. In situations like this where long distance communication is needed, it will be invaluable. Gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed. Nice work, little guy. I tell everything. You thank me. Now give me food. It's secretly a cat. Considering that the captain's been trained to be surprisingly rude. Sad, salty, Foxia, scary. Huh? Uh, I think he might have picked up some new words while I was talking to him. I better be more careful. He'll, he'll relay a message that I need me to send. Perhaps we should all be mindful of that. Yeah. Anyway, is this the tree that's giving you guys trouble at all? Yes, can you help us out? Of course, that's why we're here. Now that Dogie's on the scene, you guys have nothing to worry about. Hmm, let's get to it then. Hmm. We need five people, so... Unfortunately, Laxia, yes, you are gonna have to help. Okay, I'm gonna start on it. Yes. Even with Dogi and Captain Barbarossa's help, removing the fallen tree was difficult. Though Laxia was reluctant at first, she soon joined in to help the others too. Though everyone was covered in mud when it was all over, they were able to clear the path. Everyone. Tree was cleared thanks to everyone's help. Ooh, that was tiring. I'm tired too. It seems we finally made some progress. <laughs> I wonder what we would have done had the others not shown up. We might need everyone's help again if we encounter more obstructions in the future. If we find more castaways, I hope they'll be willing to help us. We just gotta take things one step at a time, is all. Well, Pero, what are you still doing here? I see from Sky. I tell you, you thank me. And what's this 
bird steel anyway. And you go sleep, Kia. Self care, good. Don't ask me. I'm just a bird. I know nothing. See for yourself. Thank you for head pats. That bird cracks me up. Yes, stilted speech aside, he has already proven to be very useful. Well, now that everything is squared away, let's continue moving. Now, go ahead. Some shells. Sturdy lumber. with controls a bit more. Sight, its beauty is mesmerizing. You know, this weird looking rock might make for a good landmark. 
You should note this location on our map. Memorable landscapes or scenery. does speed up the longer you stand here. My turn now. Something's there and I can't reach it. Required twenty people. Twenty. Way to tip your hand about how many people are, are available.
Lucetti. And the other fish are like, nope, we're out. As I very carefully avoid the, uh... What's fighting today? <laughs> the, uh, main quest marker. I got one. Well, better than nothing. Bole! Machine is uh, pleasantly easy, awesome. thankfully. Oh, there's something there. Hmm, yeah. rock salt. Appears to be a castaway. Would you like to talk to her? Nah. Huh? What is this place? Down Aerith. Oh, my darling. Where are you? Ah, <laughs> found one. Who are you? Hello, by any chance were you a passenger aboard the Lombardia? Yes, I was. Who are you people? That explained everything that has happened since the Lombardia sank. A deserted island? Oh no. The castaways are gathering at base camp not far from here. We can escort you there. Oh, okay, my name is Allison. Adol returned with Allison to Castaway Village and introduced her to Barbaros and Dogi. She seemed very shocked to learn that she had washed ashore on a desert I deserted island. Though she seemed hesitant at first, Allison decided she would help the others escape. And so... I understand the situation now. In the city, I worked as a seamstress. I even had my own shop. Oh no, no. You, you sold flowers. If there is anything I can do to help, please say so. I mean, heck, even listen to the music. All grateful for your assistance. Uh, this may seem like a strange question, but you didn't happen to find a man around my age named Ed, did you? A man? Huh? Everything you've found so far is here. Oh, I see. Oh, darling. 
Pardon me, but were you traveling with your husband? Yes, we were together the whole time, Eastman, as we were falling into the ocean. But we were separated by the current, and I have been seen since. Don't lose hope. I'm sure your husband ended up somewhere in the island just like you. Isn't that right, Mr. Christian? Yeah, these, these two choices are so lovely. How about, you know, if he's here, I'll find him. I'll promise I'll find him. I don't know if he'll be alive or dead, but I'll find him. Really? I know you're just trying to comfort me, but thank you, Adol. Must be tired, Allison. Loxia, could you escort her to the lodge? Yes. Right this way, Allison. Thank you. <laughs> it looks like this place is getting a little livelier. Something on your mind? Yes, but keep, keep this between us. I'm concerned that the beasts are becoming more aggressive. Beasts, huh? That could be bad for us. At the moment, I don't think anything is about to happen. But we should come up with a plan to defend the village and keep everyone safe. Understood. Just tell me your plan and I'll do everything I can to put it in action. Thank you. Adol, you and the others are going to keep searching and mapping the island. Wonder where you'll end up next. Based on what you've mapped this far, I think you've thickly searched this area. That means they'll be gradually getting further away from the village. But we have Paro with us, so we can let you know from here if there's anything we need from you. Indeed, it might be best if you started searching areas that you haven't mapped yet. I'm counting on you two. Really? Really? Are you sure I should be searching areas that I haven't mapped yet? Are you sure? Are you sure? Build some beds. Start making the beds. Help of Adol and the others, Captain Barbarous was able to build beds for the lodge. Look at that. We've got some beds now. We don't have just hammocks. At last, we have real beds. I prefer fluffier bedding than this, but it should help us sleep easier. <laughs> Good for you, little lady. But if you ask me, sleeping on the floor ain't all that bad. Right, Adol? Yeah, no. Hammocks are the best. <laughs> True hammocks do feel pretty nice. They do? But, but beds are obviously superior. How's this even open for debate? You too, I swear. At least the captain is thoughtful. Thank you for being so considerate. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Why, I should be thanking you for gathering the materials and helping me build them. Mm, it's quite all right. This is a nice change of pace for us. I must say I didn't expect you to be such a jack of all trades, Captain. The framework for these beds is quite remarkable. Yeah, if I had built a bed, I'd probably end up looking like a table with a blanket draped over it. Where'd you learn to do this, anyway? <laughs> I've dabbled in many trades over the years. Carpentry, cargo lading, shipwright. Even now, my daughter still asks me to make furniture for her. You don't say... <laughs> Glad to hear you and your daughter are so close. Mm, thank you. Anyway, thank you for helping me with this. I'll do whatever I can to make sure everything is comfortable until we get off this island. If you ever get tired while you're exploring, feel free to rest here anytime. Oh, we will, thank you. A great job! 
Woot. And I got a shield. The shields. You can also use shields. I wasn't expecting that. Guess you have the lowest health, so I'm going to need the shield. But hey! Beds! And more importantly, hammock. Adult, did you come to check on me? I feel much better after getting some rest. Thank you. I was just giving Addison some advice. Does she have a problem? Uh, no, she doesn't have a problem, per se. I'm just wondering what I can do to help out around here. Allison and her husband own her own tailoring business. At the shop, I helped my husband by taking care of all the sewing. So if I'm going to help out around here, that'll be my contribution. But if it's not too much trouble, I'd like to borrow a space where I could do some sewing. I'd have presented the idea to Captain Barbaros, who was more than willing to it. Dogi took care of securing a location and providing Allison with sewing supplies. Three pairs of scissors from what? Bundles of twine all of a sudden. Now, Dogie's a miracle worker, apparently. Something nicely? It looks like you're all set. Yes, I'm sorry for the trouble. I didn't think it would be so much work. And now I feel like I have a place to call my own. If you ever need anything sewn, please come to me, Adol. You can create accessories! Well, some great variety of items, pride she has materials. Oh, what was that? Yeah, you didn't have to subscribe, but thank you! That's so kind of you. How you doing? Everyone, Bea, T Bea is the artist for Insecurity. You gotta be kidding me and Cats and Jammer. Three wonderful Wonderful web comics you should check out because they are amazing. Wonderfully drawn, great storylines. Yes, I, I remember the big donor. I was there. The anonymous patron came in and, and uh, subbed a hundred times. <laughs> that is really wonderful for you and you deserve it. Hi, Sandy. Gosh. All right, Sandy here with the fourth raid of the day. Nine more people. People who are here, if you're not following Sandy AJ, I recommend that you change that. Sandy AJ is the best knucklehead on Twitch. Wonderful VTuber. Wonderful. Wonderful energetic personality. Great, great friend. And uh, someone, 
someone who I'm glad to at to call my friend. She's also the originator of the Stabby song. Oh, interesting, Sandy. Thank you. Did they finally put that thing back in? Yes, that's because I'll have I'll totally have a bunch of extra things to uh <laughs> to make fashion items being here stowed away stowed away shipwrecked on an island. TGA. <laughs> Create a curtain partition for the women's quarters so they rest without worrying. That worrying about what? Mr. Christian, may I have a moment? This village is sorely lacking in privacy, and this area in particular is no exception. I think the women would feel more comfortable in here if the entrance had a covering. Don't you agree? I mean, I guess you would feel more comfortable. And I'd like you to help me. I already discussed this matter with Allison. You provide her with soft, fibrous material she can use it to make a pair of curtains. She says she only needs two soft fibers to make the curtains. If you find any, please let me know. I'm counting on you. All that reading was making you sleepy. Was it the reading and not the logic? Soft fiber. Okay. I figured I would have. Let's know. Listen, my wife's worried sick about me. She's a real tough woman, though. Allison's pretty sensitive, so I'm a little worried. Hope her husband is okay. Uh, let's keep searching the island. By the way, there's a boulder by the spot where I washed ashore. Might be beyond that. Uh, if we have time, let's take a look. Nineteen months of petting Sarah's tails and giving her head pats. Aww. Thank you, TGA, for being... For uh, starting your 19th month as Tail Brusher. 
is really appreciated. All the head pats especially are appreciated. Sandy. Just have to hope for the best, I suppose. Well, There's something there. just gonna have to do the best you can with what you got. I wonder if it's because... Uh, YouTube API doesn't give as many triggers. Let's go! Opening! 
I need all the squishy things. Hey, you'd think, wouldn't you? Pile of bowlers extract the path. Yes, yes, little Peru. You get all the crackers. Song Rock. are looking dim.
Sweet, sweet driftage. Getting nervous. It's here. I caught something. Maybe having trouble landing it where the fish are. Rotten driftage. And can we like land it in the circle? Seems to be something in the tree. <laughs> This was because apparently I missed it. Oh, and it's up. almost time.
Man, the music changed. That sounds like a good spot to cut it.